So hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we brought you along on the journey. It's been a crazy month. Um, like I think I mentioned, me and my wife both had COVID, uh, losing a loved one, and just going through a lot of personal things, man. It's been crazy. Uh, and then on top of that, the car accident, right? And on top of that, we wasn't really sure if we were gonna get money because the lady was denying it was her fault and all that kind of stuff. But look, we pushed through. We wasn't really stressed about it. Um, and look, it just worked out in our favor, man. It just worked out in our favor. God got our back through everything. It don't matter. But yeah, we were not stressed about this. We know like if we didn't get any money, we could you know, finance another car, get another car, no problems. Um, and it just feels good to be able to, you know, take control of your finances and make sure when life happens that you can take care of certain things. And uh, we're definitely blessed to be able to have those opportunities to, to do that because not everybody does. Um, but you do have opportunity to change your life. And uh, I believe it takes willpower and a lot of determination, struggle, fight, all that stuff to make your life change and to have your finances change as well um, it's all about taking action and um you know finding those things fighting the issues too because that's a lot i think a lot of you know our financial like education and well-being has a direct connection to you know past trauma uh relationship with money from how you watch your parents or family members uh, their relationship with money all that kind of stuff uh, there's a lot there when it just comes to just it's not just numbers on paper so I think we need to look inside and you know uh, r really reflect on those things to be able to get to a better level of financial health with that being said um, this is what we did y'all so yeah we bought that car it was the first car that we physically went to go look at. It, it just, the process was smooth. My wife believes in um, signs and spiritual thing, connections. So like the person we were working with on the insurance side from the other lady's insurance company, her name was Andrea. The lady we went to go buy the car from, her, her name was Andrea. So it was just like a sign for my wife and she drove the car cause she'll be driving that. Um, and she really enjoyed it. She liked the car. I checked out all the other stuff, you know, that I'm supposed to look at, uh, the maintenance stuff was there rust or, you know, was the engine sound like just all that kind of stuff. Just make sure we're, we're good on that end. That's Leilani in the back. <laughs> and so again, I mentioned three, we, we were in the car. I mentioned three options, right? Um, it was to pay in cash pay 50% down and then finance the rest or option three was to just pay the smallest amount which I think they would allow maybe 10% and then finance the rest we decided to go with option two so the asking price was nine thousand seven hundred sixteen dollars I got into my negotiation mode I said okay what kind of deal can we get I looked on KBB Kelly's Blue Book and you know typed in all the stuff of the car and uh, they were a lot lower they were saying like a private price would be uh, I think it was around six thousand about sixty eight hundred on the low end uh, the high being eight thousand or something like that um, so I was like this is a little high but it is in good condition uh, so eighty eight hundred you know cool I'm not tripping over an extra eight but I wasn't gonna pay ninety seven for sure so we got to meet in the middle they came back nine thousand forty eight I was like can we just make it even nine and she was like are you gonna leave if we can't get this even out? I said, well, there's other cars that we can go look at. <laughs> I always make sure like, you know, I keep my options open um, and let them know that so they don't feel like we're in a, a tight spot because we were not like, we could just go somewhere else. And that's the benefit of, you know, having options. You don't have to go with the first thing you see just because you know you in a in a tight spot and i don't think anybody should ever buy a car under stress or in a tight spot when you're mentally messed up like oh i need a car i got it don't do that don't buy under stress don't buy under pressure that's that's no no so we got it to nine thousand. now this was the slick part now i got played because when i bought my car they weren't trying to add on options and stuff like that um this is the, only the second car uh, we've ever purchased like together um, well the first car I purchased myself her car she brought into the marriage she got that one herself so this is our first car we purchased together as a, as a couple um, but yeah so I never been like at a dealership like this 
where they add on stuff. So I didn't notice it until after they already put it in the system and said that we was paying for it. So they got a little extra off of us. I ain't tripping. It's cool. Whatever I learned from this, it was a uh, six hundred dollar uh, learning experience on top of the purchase price of the car. But that's cool. Like it's it's a solid car. I know it's gonna last. Whatever. I'm not tripping about that. But okay. So add on protection items. They, that's this is where they got us. They added like a, a GPS tracker if our car was happened to be stolen and accident protection. So if something was to happen to our car, just automatically get on top of our insurance. Uh, another two thousand dollars but it's only it's only good for a year so so the sales tax six hundred eighty two dollars and twenty nine cents uh, their dealer fee I should have hacked them on this because uh, I got when I bought my car I, I made them like you know I finessed the dealer fee with them excuse me I finessed the dealer fee with them and I should have done it here as well uh, I missed it um, so that was 149 and then the title fee fifteen dollars so that got us to a grand total of ten thousand four hundred forty four dollars and twenty nine cents so we went with option two we put five thousand down um, and in total we, re we received from the insurance company about uh, it's almost six thousand even so five thousand nine hundred seventy dollars in total from their insurance company uh, so we just used uh, five thousand and we taking the rest and putting this somewhere where it should go best okay and then uh, we financed the rest at five thousand four hundred and forty four dollars and twenty nine cents uh, for 48 months at six point nine four percent interest uh, so it's the higher end on the interest rate because it's a small loan I think the least amount that uh, an auto lender will lend is five thousand dollars so we were like right at that mark uh, which is very interesting hey while editing the video, I forgot to add this. They tried to finesse us out of 1800 financed into the loan with extended service contracts, warranties, and I already knew the deal on that. I understand that the finance office makes money, a commission from selling extra products. And I mean, they also make money off the loan, but the, the loan that we got was so small that probably didn't make that much. Uh, but they definitely would have made a sizable amount, I think, on the extended service contract, um, which is just a pr extra profit center for them. So, hell no, we did not add 1800 on to our purchase and finance that uh, on top of our loan. And even on Credit Karma, it mentions 55% of respondents who bought an extended warranty did not use it. Here on Credit Karma, it says they're not for everyone. I don't think they're for anybody. Don't ever 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 purchase these ESC's the two biggest places where I learn valuable information as well as reddit those are my top three YouTube Quora reddit okay but on Quora even they explain in detail what an ESC is and how the dealers buy it for cheap at say like 700 and then mark it up to this example twelve hundred dollars and that sounds about right to me so they could have purchased this ESC directly from the company for five hundred seven hundred dollars and then try to make a profit and sell it to us uh, in the in, and put it in our loan for eight another eighteen hundred dollars on the vehicle it's been a car salesman for 16 years on Quora this is why I love Quora because professionals are on here giving their advice on are they sharing their knowledge within what they know he went on to say that he owns a used car lot and it's a waste of money unless uh, as you know the manufacturer is providing it um, you know they see he's seen scams from these types of companies they barely pay out uh, if at ever when when you do try to file something with them and he says the people that fight against him and say that they work are the people who've never actually had to use the warranty it's just for peace of mind it's better off to actually save the cash so it's better off for peace of mind to put 1800 to the side, right? And just in case, if a repair comes by, boom, you know you have that 1800 for any repair for the vehicle. That's the best play scenario for you. You are throwing your money away when you invest, invest in these extended service contracts. So again, never, ever, ever purchase these ESCs. Okay, moving on. Now our plan, and that doesn't break the bank, the average car payment is $400 a month. People go crazy, uh, you know, hurting themselves. I'd rather be in a safe situation where I know 
you know, life happens and stuff like that. So if we were to lose one source of income or whatever, um, I wanted to make sure that we could still afford this. And that's why we didn't overbuy uh, on a vehicle. Um, so this is our plan. Um, it's to pay it off in 24 or even a year, but 24 is like the max. So maybe we'll make extra payments depending on the situation of our income, you know, with our businesses and stuff like that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Take you through the journey as well on that. Um, but yeah, our new monthly payment, our personal monthly payment, we're going to pay 261.20 a month. So we can have that strategy of paying it off in two years instead of four years. Um, so which which would cut that interest in half because it's simple interest uh, to four hundred and twelve dollars and twenty five cents Bam, okay, that's how you do that um, So we're good and it's crazy because like I said it happened right around the time where um, I had already been talking to Raven about um, hey, I want to sell my car and get something else Yeah, everybody could not fit in just our cars. We had to take two cars just to, to go somewhere as a family, you know. Um, so yeah, it works out. It really works out. Um, you know, got hit with the, the little add-ons and stuff like that, but it's okay. It was a learning experience and we didn't overpay and we can't afford it. I think the value of the car being $10,444, I'm cool with paying that. I'm cool that I know on average is gonna lose 10% of its value. So it's okay. Our plan is to drive the cars until the wheels fall off anyway. Unless, you know, we just want to add on another car when we can't afford it. So, that's it. We're highly blessed. I thank God that we were able to go through this and create a learning experience for ourselves and hopefully for you too. Um, so, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Darius Allen, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.